Do I need to do that again? <laughs> bon dia. Bon dia. I, I, all I said was we're we're really excited to be down here in Brazil. Uh, your your country's been great to us. The people have been fantastic. We're looking forward to make making history tomorrow and really looking forward to playing the Philadelphia Eagles to start off the 2024 season. Muito ansioso por estar aqui. O Brasil é um país muito receptivo. A gente simplesmente quer fazer história amanhã. Muito ansioso para jogar contra os Eagles. Vai ser um grande jogo. Hi, Matt. Thank you for coming here. I'm Marcos from Packers Brazil. So it's very special to have you here in Brazil for this game and have you here as a fan too. I've been doing this since 2011, so it's 13 years. And it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for me to talk with you directly. And I would like to ask you to just send a message for the Brazilian fans, for the international fans, because in the last few days and since the game was announced, we hear some bad things about Brazil. You know, some concerns that we can't understand, but some very bad things too. And thanks God, the Packers were silent and don't say anything bad for us. But I just would like to ask you and invite you to send a message for Brazil, for Brazilian fans that are so crazy about this team. It's the number one team in popularity here in Brazil. Thank you. Yeah, Marcos, it's great to be here. Uh, like I said, our experience down here has, has been nothing but positive and I think our players are the only negative was a long flight. I mean, that's kind of out of the norm for us. But I would say since, you know, we've we've only been here a short time, but uh, the food, the people, everybody's been been a plus. So it's been a positive experience for us and we're looking forward to it tomorrow. Hopefully all our Brazilian fans will show up tomorrow and be cheering on uh, the green and gold and um, you know, hopefully it's a home field advantage for us. So it's it's been a great experience for us thus far. Excuse me? We're going to play on green jersey, so it's a home game. Yes, it is a home game. So, um, you know, I, I think that any time that people venture and there's an unknown, you know, things can get misconstrued. And, and people, there's a lot of misinformation, I would say. Um, but... Like I said, we're, we're really excited to be here, and it's an honor to be here, and we're looking forward to the 2024 season. Hi, Matt. Fernando Medeiros from El Observador and Chief Chat. We are from Uruguay. Uh, I have a uh, question in two parts. The first one is, how do you think the, the run game will develop and, uh, for both teams, and how will, how it, will it determine the, red, the, the game? And the second part is, uh, how eager are you to get your passport stamped again on the next few years? <laughs> uh, I would say the run game. I think the run game is going to be critical for both teams tomorrow. Uh, certainly, we both have new backs, so that'll be exciting to see. I think two premier backs in this league. Uh, obviously, Philly's ability to run the ball with Jalen is always a challenge. I think last time we played the Eagles, he ran for over 100 yards. It was a long day for for our, our team, our defense in particular. And um, so it's always a great challenge. I think uh, they do a great job running the football. I think when you look at their front, both offensively and defensively, uh, it's a, a pretty dominant front. But at the same time, I'm looking at our guys, uh, really excited to see what we're able to do. Like I said, it's, it's going to be a great challenge, but one that we're looking forward to. Uh, what was your second question about the passport? Do you want us to come back down? Yeah, I'm, well, this is our second international game in, in three years, so I'm sure we're going to be playing more of these. And um, it truly is a privilege, though. I mean, to any opportunity that we get to go anywhere, um, whether it's home, away, overseas, it's a great opportunity for our players, for our team, to, to show what we're all about. Hi, Matt. Ari Aguiar from ESPN Brazil. Uh, you guys didn't have a uh, first half of last season. It wasn't incredible. But the second part so of the season... <laughs> <laughs> but the second part of the season was uh, tremendous. Jordan was probably the best quarterback in the NFL. And I, I remember that especially that, that game in Detroit in the Thanksgiving. 
Uh, I want to know uh, if do you consider that game a turning point in the season? And uh, you were uh, uh, you guys were uh, Christian McCaffrey away from the NFC Championship, and how that uh, the second part boost your confidence for this season? Yeah, I think every year you look at teams around the league and some teams start off a little bit slower than others. And I think when you look at our team in particular, we had a lot of new faces um, and people were learning each other. I know for myself in particular, just learning our guys and what we're capable of doing and try to put them in the best position possible. Um, and quite frankly, just looking back on it, I probably held them back a little bit early on. And uh, the more aggressive we got, I think the better we did, um, but every season's a, there's a learning curve to it. So, um, you know, I'm excited about just kind of where we are, and, and tomorrow's going to be a great test to show us exactly where we are. But um, yeah, just excited for this opportunity for our guys. You had competition at kicker at long snapper, not at punter. How are you confident in Daniel Willem, and how possibly can you develop a punter from one year to another? Yeah, Daniel's had an outstanding training camp. I think every day I'm amazed in practice seeing him out there kicking. Um, I mean, this guy is he's, he's dropping bombs out there. I mean, it, it is spectacular to see. And although I tell him all the time he's a great kicker, I, I just hope we only use you as a holder. So hopefully we're scoring a lot of points and, um, you know, aren't punting the ball too much. But knowing that if we have to punt, he's got the opportunity for us to flip a field. And I think that's all you can ask for out of a, uh, out of a punter. Morning, Matt. Coach. Gabriel. Can I go? Morning, Coach. Gabriel from the playoffs. About the defense, new Jeff Hefley system and – I would like to ask you how the team are feeling about it and what do you see as an improvement for the team on the defense side? Well, Gabriel, I think it's hard to say right now um, from an improvement standpoint. I think we got to go out there and play. Uh, but I, I do think that the guys are confident in what we're asking them to do. I think we've seen progress throughout the course of the offseason program into training camp. Um, what, we're, what we're really trying to establish is a style of play going out there, playing fast, playing physical, going after the ball. Um, I think those are trademarks of great defenses, no matter what the system is, whatever the scheme may be. But you have to have an attacking mindset, an attacking mentality, and really ultimately get the ball back for, for your offense. Hey, Matt. Obviously, just right. a quick procedural question for you. It's a different cadence this week with the Friday game, the long trip. Is this today your practice, your, your typical Saturday rehearsal walkthrough before the game, or did you have to kind of like tinker with things to, to kind of avoid the, for, for the long layoff and, and get them ready for Friday? Yeah, Ryan, today's more of a shakeout. I, I would say um, just because the, the length of the flight and the travel is not what we're accustomed to, so we're going we're gonna to pick up the speed a little bit more today than we typically would the day before a game. So uh, we used – it's kind of a Friday slash Saturday practice if your game was on a Sunday. Um, so we'll have a little team period, a little individual, just to try to shake the long trip out of us. Matt, great having you guys here in Brazil. Uh, you're a very young – talented team, especially when we look at the skill positions, and with a great, young, talented coach. What is the ceiling for the Green Bay I don't Bay know if Packers? I'm so young anymore. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> what is the ceiling for the team? Where do you see the team going forward? Uh, you know, I, I never want to put limitations on us or expectations. I think my only expectation for our, for our team is to go out and compete each and every day to be your best. And if, as long as we dive into that process, I, I love how these guys come to work each and every day got a great attitude there's a great energy about our team now we have to go do and that's what i'm excited to see is our ability to go out there and how we put it all together all three phases for four quarters uh, just want to see the resiliency of our team because there's there's going to be moments of adversity there is each and every week uh, each and every game and just having that one play mentality being able to whether a play went well or whether it didn't go so good um, our ability to re rebound, respond in the moment um, in the fight that we have for four quarters. 
There's always anticipation, Matt, for openers. I'm wondering how the big trip international flavor to it has added to the anticipation for you for the opener. And secondarily, how was the flight down and what would the flight back, a long flight after a win be like, you think? Yeah. Well, there, there's nothing better than a flight after a win. But uh, I think the flight was was smooth here. Um, you know, we, we, we were able to get the majority of our players in the big pods. We had a great plane. Uh, the setup was was outstanding, so it it went as good as I could have ever hoped for or expected it to go. So a lot of credit goes to Matt Klein. He's the guy that kind of arranges that, but it's it's a lot of people. Adam Corzin, Flea, obviously, um, all those guys were instrumental in, in making it a smooth flight. Uh, what else did you ask me? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I think any time. I mean, what a privilege it's going to be for our football team and for Philly to be the only game on. I think that is such a privilege for the whole world to be watching us. Uh, and so we're excited for that opportunity against one of the premier teams in the NFL and in the NFC. Matt, Gustavo here from HTV. It's a pleasure being here with you. Uh, what, what is your expectation for this new season and for the game tomorrow? Kind of like what I already said. I just expect us to go out there and compete to the best of our ability. Um, you know, I'm excited for our guys. You always want to be cautiously optimistic, but you got to go do the work. The bottom line is you got to go out there and you got to put it together. And it's not just one phase, it's all three phases for four quarters. But I'm excited for our guys for that opportunity. Um, and I, I know our guys are excited for the opportunity. Hey, Matt. Do you get any access to the stadium before the game? Have you gone over logistics of how your coaches are going to get up and down to the box? Do you know what kind of cleats you're going to wear on the grass? Things like that. Are those all things you've been able to plan ahead of time? Yeah, I mean, I, we always have a plan for that. And I think, um, you know, as far as going over, we're not going to go over to this, the stadium prior to, but we always have our players testing out their cleats in pregame, making sure that they're comfortable with those. I think playing at Lambeau, you, you get a good sense on how you play because our, our surface is pretty slick. Um, so it allows you, to, I think, to adapt to these other surfaces. Um, as far as our coaches getting up and down from the press box, that's really not my concern right now. Um, there's a lot of other concerns I have, uh, but I'm confident that there will be people in place that, that, that'll get those guys in the right place in the right time. Next question. Uh, hi, Matt. Uh, this is the first game in the NFL in Brazil. How do, you, how do you guys feel about to be part of that? Yeah, I think, uh, like I, I've said all along, we're just honored. It's such a privilege to be down here and, and um, to make history. So we're all excited. I hope all our fans out there are, are excited for us. I met Leonardo from ESPN Brazil. A couple of years ago, you met Pep Guardiola when Manchester City played at Lambeau Field. I would like to know how was this meeting with him and if you studied something from soccer to become a better football coach. Yeah, I think any time you get an opportunity to sit there and, and talk to a guy that is as respected as anybody, no matter what the sport, um, that, that is a great opportunity. So Pep is a guy that you know, I wasn't much of a soccer fan prior to that, but having been around and, and you get a greater appreciation for how talented those players are, I would say. Um, so I've, I've kind of paid a lot more attention to it and then certainly have seen some of the, um, what are those shows, the all or nothings that, that they have. Um, so you're always kind of observing, watching and, trying to steal from one of the greatest minds in all of sports.